An insurance company ensures a good driver and a bad driver. The table gives the probability of a given number of claims for each of these drivers. The number of claims occurring for the two drivers are independent. Calculate the mode of the distribution of the total number of claims. So the total number of claims could be zero up to six because um, each driver can have up to three claims. So the maximum is if both of them are having three, then the total will be six. So the total number of claims could be anywhere between zero and six. So what we need to do is we need to calculate the probability of each of the claims zero through six and see which one gives the highest probability and whichever number gives the highest probability will be the mode. So um, we list the table. So as we said, technically I should have listed zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, but you will see why actually uh, because of the numbers in this problem, we do not have to go beyond three. So this three has nothing to do with this three uh, it has to do with something else, uh, which we will see as we start solving. So uh, let G B be the point, so the, which causes this claim. So zero claims can only happen if G is zero and B is zero. G for the good driver, B for the bad driver. And the probability of zero and zero will be good zero and bad zero. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.2 equals 0.1 and uh, the remaining probability at this point is 0.9, 1 minus 0.1. And then we could have one total claim which is caused by uh, zero for the good and one for the bad or one for the good and zero for the bad. So zero one will be zero for the good, 0.5 and one for the bad, that's 0 0.3. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 or, or means addition, one for the good and zero for the bad. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.2. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 equals 0 0.21 and uh, the remaining probability now we already at this step we had 0.9 left over and we took away another 0.21 so 0.69 so by remaining probability we mean the probability of all the remaining events together so uh, the probability of zero claim is 0.1 it means the probability of one or more claim would be 0.9 and uh, once we figure out the probability of one claim is 0.21, then that means that the probability of two or more claims would be 0.69 minus 0.21, uh, 0.9 um, minus 0.21, or you could just say one minus 0.1 minus 0.21, which is the same as 0.9 minus 0.21. So that's 0.69 left. So two or more claims could have probability 0.69. So we still need to keep going because right now the highest probability we see is 0.21. And since the remaining probability at this point is 0.69, so some of the remaining claims could exceed the 0.21. And then the two total claims can happen, uh, zero good, two bad, or one good, one bad, or two good, zero, bad. So zero, two, one, one, two, zero. So zero, two could be, uh, zero, two would be 0.5 for the, for the good. And two means 0.4 for the bad. So 0 0.4, 0 0.5 times 0.4 plus, then you could have one good, one bad. So 0 0.3 times 0 0.3, or you could have uh, two good and zero bad, so plus 0.2 times 0.2. And that gives us 0.33. And the remaining probability, we had this point, we had 0.69 left, so you took away another 0.33, so that's 0.36. So 
So we still need to keep going. So at this point, this point three, three is the highest probability. So two is the best contender for more at this point. But since we still have 0.36 remaining probability after this, so it is possible that one of the remaining numbers could pick up something higher than 0.33. So we need to go to the next step. Three total claims could happen. Zero good, three bad, one good, two bad, two good, one bad, three good, zero bad. And as before, we do this. So the reason why we have four points here, but only um, three uh, terms here is because when you, when you do the three zero part, so that means three good, zero bad. So three good is zero and zero bad is 0.2. So it's zero times 0.2, which is zero. So that one doesn't contribute to the sum. So that's why I've just omitted it from here. So this one is 0.23, and now the remaining probability is 0.36, which is what we had at the start of this step, minus the 0 0.23, 0 0.13. Now we can stop because uh, this two is having a probability of 0.33, and the leftover probability is 0.13. Uh, it means the remaining claims, which are four, five, and six, none of them can have a probability greater than 0.3 because all of them have to add to one. And this is the, uh, this is the only leftover now at this point. And until this point, we see that uh, this 0.33 is the highest probability among these four. And the remaining cannot be greater than 0.13. And so 0.33 is the highest ever probability, which is corresponding to two claims. So the mode is two. And that was choice C.